Hi, I'm Kelly Taylor from ITV. I'm here at Leisure Days RV Center and we're talking trailering. And it is the season of trailering. You're going to see all sorts of people heading out on the roads with their trailers and hopefully with a tow vehicle that meets the needs of the trailer. And that's one of the things we're going to be talking about here at Leisure Days. We're going to talk to Scott Dubay. He's a service shop foreman here. And he's going to give us the lowdown on what you need to know about trailering. So what are some of the things that, uh, that people need to keep in mind when they're shopping for a trailer in, in, in terms of being able to tow that trailer when, they're, when they buy it? Uh, you want to know your vehicle tow capacity. You want to know what kind of trailer you're looking for so you can match it perfectly to the trailer or to the truck, sorry. Um, so you want to know what your vehicle can pull before you go and look for trailers so you can shop accordingly. A lot of people tend to underestimate what they can pull. They, they see a, a, a trailer that's uh, 8,000 pounds and they've got a vehicle that can tow 10,000 pounds and they think, maybe I can't do it. That, that's not necessarily true, is it? No, not necessarily true. What you need to be doing is kind of think where you're going to be traveling. If you're within a few hundred pounds of your vehicle max, I wouldn't be going to the mountains or anything with it. But if you're going to be just camping locally, it'd be suffice. So what... What else would you advise people to do when they're when they're considering a trailer purchase? Um, know your gross vehicle weight for one. Uh, determine your tow vehicle and the trailer you're purchasing. You might need an equalizer hitch, which uh, distributes the weight evenly be between the tow vehicle and the trailer. Um, extend extend the mirrors so you can see around your trailer when you're towing it. Um, those kind of things. Now, one of the things that's always occurred to me is that, um, you know, if you're camping four times a year, um, maybe you don't need to own a truck for, for, for 12 months a year. Maybe, maybe renting a truck for when you're going camping is, is, is a good option too. It is, and it will save you some money if you don't have the money to invest in a truck off the start. And, uh, you know, another couple of things to keep in mind too is that if you have your truck set up for trailering in terms of your rear axle, your fuel economy goes out the window. Correct. Because now you're delivering that much more torque to the rear wheels. Exactly. All right. Scott Dubay from uh, Leisure Days. Thanks very much for joining us. No problem. Thank you for having me. Well, that's our take on trailering on ITV Winnipeg. You know, one of the reasons for trailering, it's not economical form of travel by any means. I mean, the trailers are expensive, the gas is expensive, but I think for the people that love to do it, it's it's they can get out on the open road, they can choose where they're going to stop, they can commune with nature as it will with their trailers. So hope to see you on the road and hope that you're safe on it as well. I'm Kelly Taylor for ITV Winnipeg. See you soon.